So, welcome to the beginning of my Facebook ad series. I'm super excited for this because this is how I was able to start making about $8,000 a month in my business. And I'm excited to teach it to other people because there's a lot of videos on the internet to tell you how to start a business, but nobody wants to tell you how to maintain and consistently create the money. Not nobody. So here we go. <laughs> um, this is going to be a longer series because I want to make sure these videos are clear and understandable. So this is just going to be an intro, but I'm going to give you value in every video. So don't click out. So today we're going to be talking about what Facebook ads is and what Facebook ads is not because there's a lot of misconceptions. And we're also going to be talking about understanding who you're speaking to, um, what their pain points are and what kind of content they like, and you're creating your customer profile. So if you see me looking down, I just don't want to miss anything. So here we go. So Facebook ads is as you would take like a picture or a video, which is known as a creative. So if you have a picture, you want to use it as an ad, that's called a creative. Same thing with the video. So from now on, you'll hear me re referring to those things as the creative. So you take this creative and you run it as an ad and Facebook will show it to people based on your budget. So let's say your budget is $5 a day. They might be shown to about a thousand people. Facebook ads takes the content that you have already created and just shows it to more people. Facebook ads puts your business in front of more people as it is. So if your business has imperfections, if your business has flaws, if your business has holes in areas where it needs improvement, people are still going to see that. And that's why Facebook ads is really important that you understand that it's not a band-aid solution for your lack of sales. Facebook ads only aids and is a tool and a resource to increase your sales if your business is in a position to have their sales increased, right? So if, let's say you have, you're creating content, but the content is not resonating with your audience. You take that content that's not resonating with your audience and you run it as an ad, it's not going to get clicked on. Nobody's going to come to your website because you need to work on creating better content first. You know what I mean? But that, this is good because Facebook will really tell you and really show you where the problems in your business are. So that's what I really like about Facebook ads is it does help you diagnose those problems a lot quicker versus if you're just trying to figure it out on your own. And a good way to test if you're creative is good and should be used as a Facebook ad is just to post it to your Instagram or Facebook page organically and see if it picks up. Some posts will obviously do better than others and the ones that have a lot of engagement are the posts you want to use as a Facebook ad. So I like to see you know, some shares, about six shares with my following, maybe like 10, 15 saves. Um, that's what I really look for in some comments. You definitely want people commenting. That's a good sign that that creative is going to do well as a Facebook ad. So understanding who you're talking to. What kind of business do you have? I have a natural hair care business, so I'm talking to black women. But you're also thinking about how old are these women? Where do these women live? Are you talking as you're following mostly based in Atlanta? People who live in Atlanta and people who live in New York, they communicate differently. So you might want to change your marketing and your communication based on who you're speaking to. Personally, I don't do that because while I do have a large following in like Florida and New York, you know, I'm speaking to people all over the United States and I'm more so speaking about their pain points. But if you have a like a business that's based in Atlanta, you might want to make sure you're speaking to people in a way that would resonate with them and be as human as possible. So that's just something to consider. And are you speaking to women in their 40s? Are you speaking to women in their 20s? Because the things that women in their 40s are looking for to see from a hair care product ad is a lot different than someone in their 20s would be looking to see. So in my opinion, and what I've noticed based on data is that women in their 40s, women in their 50s, they want things thoroughly explained to them. They want proof. They want to see that you are doing what you say you're going to do. So, but then people in their 20s, they're just like, does it look good? Is it catchy? Like, is it super quick? You know, things like that. So really creating content for who you want to buy your product. So, and also I think people in their 40s and 50s want things to be explained to them. They want to see thorough explanations. They want to see some facts and some knowledge. Like you are also knowledgeable on the product and why should people buy from you? They're looking for credibility versus where someone in their 20s, someone a little bit younger, is not necessarily looking for all of that because they haven't had the bad experiences in buying products yet. So um, make sure that you're creating content based on those things. Maybe your content should be a little bit longer or should your content be a lot shorter because your audience is a lot younger. So those are things that you definitely need to consider, definitely need to sit down. I know it's a lot. This video is not gonna be that long because I want you to be able to 
stop and go think about the things that I have just said. So that is number one. What kind of content are you going to create? Long content, short content, informational content, um, educational content, or just like entertainment content. So that's step one. You can create all of them actually. You should batch create content and try different things. Next, you need to know what the pain points are. You need the specific pain points. For example, people that I'm speaking to, they have dry hair. So you don't want to just like necessarily say dry hair. You want to make sure you're using the words and describing it how they would describe it. Or like, for example, I have a flaxseed gel that is the most amazing flaxseed gel on the market, truly. It doesn't flake. It doesn't leave their hair crunchy or dry. It doesn't leave their hair hard or stiff. So those are things you want to communicate in your ad and in your ad copy. We'll get into ad copy in a later video, um, which is just the words that people are reading. You want to make sure you're communicating that and not just saying, I have a flaxy gel and it's amazing. You want to say, you want to make sure you're showing your hair is not going to be stiff, your hair is not going to be flaky. And then you also want to communicate that with your copy. So you need to know the pain points because that is the whole reason people are going to buy. People also buy if you're like entertaining, but you definitely want to show if you have a product, what the heck your product does. People are just not going to be like, oh, I just happened. This is my work area. Oh, flexi gel? Okay, like, nobody cares. You need to show people me doing this, me applying it to my hair, and you need to know what people want to see. So what I find does the best is that close-ups of my curls, close-ups of curls in general, product, like, you know, applying it to my hair, people want to see the curls up close, they want to see what my hair is looking like, because they want to know what their hair is going to look like when they use my products. You see what I'm saying? So if you have you know clothing you don't want to just show the clothing on a white wall because nobody's going to click on that the competition is strong you want to show the clothing on you do poses maybe show yourself happy or whatever definitely do the research in your niche to see what's performing well that's another thing go on your competitors pages what post has the most engagement what post has the most comments and recreate that for you and yourself it doesn't always work but it'll sometimes give you amazing results um, you need to know what kind of content that they like to see because you need to be able to duplicate that. I know that a lot of people in my industry, they like either really short content with close-ups of the hair or they like thorough explained videos. And you might have to recreate a video three or four times saying the same thing but saying it differently and before you find the one that like does really well with Facebook ads. So it's definitely going to be a lot of testing. Sometimes you can make one video and it does super well. Sometimes you might need to make a video four times saying the same thing different ways in different parts of your house, outside, whatever, before it resonates with your audience. So that is super important, understanding that it does take time to create a good creative. But the more you do it, the more you know and the stronger you are with knowing what your customer wants to see and what they want to hear, the easier it's going to be able to the easier it's going to be for you to be able to rinse and repeat this process. So I hope that makes sense. So now knowing that, what you want to do is create a customer profile. So you can do about three or four or however many you feel like is a good amount, just with different customers and what they like. So for example, you can have a customer, she's 25 years old. What does she read? What does she watch? What does she wear? Where does she shop? Where does she eat? Where does she live? And you want to write all these things down. And so that when you're running ads, you can know who to target. So when you're running ads, you can select to target people based on if they like the shade room, if they shop at H&M, if they like wigs or whatever. And these are different things that you're going to want to test to see which audience brings you the best results. So and then also you want to know who you're talking to when you're creating the ad. You want to have that in mind before you even start working on the ad. So that's definitely going to be able to be good for you to visualize and to look at while you're working, while you're creating. Um, I generally find that doing broad testing works better, but we're going to get into that in a later video so I can show you what it looks like. Um, if I can figure out how to edit it properly, I don't know if I'm going to get there in time, but you know, we'll see. Um, so definitely sit down and create your customer profile. So Juliana, she's 25, she watches BT, she reads The Shade Room, she shops at Zara, she works at Google, she likes lace wigs, skincare and she has one child she's not married that is the customer profile and you can actually target people based on whether they're married or not whether they whether they are parents or not whether they are parents of school-aged children whether they are parents of infants whether they have a college kid whether someone's in college or not out of college 
or not in college um you can target people based on all kinds of things so be as specific as you can so that this works as best as possible because also if you are talking to a college student and not talking to a college student you're going to talk to them differently your price point is going to be different if you are speaking to college students versus not speaking to college students you know what i mean so everything has to work together your price is super important and we're going to talk about that in a later video as well this is just the intro so that we can get the basic foundation um late as well so really important to know who your customer is because like i said all the things that follow like your brand colors your website your price who what their pain points are are all going to be based on who you are speaking to to begin with so this is this wraps it up i hope this was helpful save this video um like and subscribe because you're going to want to come back to this and watch it a couple times because um everything might not make sense i think i speak a little fast it might not make sense in the first listening so um just make sure that you come back and take your time don't rush we're gonna cover everything and get you on the path to success facebook ads does take time to learn but once you learn it it's so rewarding once you are able to literally like print money so yeah see you guys in the next video